As a veterinarian practicing bovine medicine, we are typically called to very difficult situations in regard to cows delivering their calves. One particular problem that cows can have when they're, they're delivering their calves is what we would refer to as the head back. So normally we would like for this head to be right positioned in front uh, between the cows, the calves front legs, but occasionally the head gets left behind and then the calf is forcefully pushed into the birth canal by the contractions of the uterus, but just the front limbs are palpable when you do an examination. And you find as you examine this area and do your examination, you find that there is no head positioned between the front legs, but the head is actually held back to the calf's side. It can be held to the left side or the right side of the calf. So it's retained at the neck, and generally we refer to that as a head back. One of the most important things to remember for everybody assisting cows and delivering calves is that we want the calf's head to be in the birth canal positioned between the cow's uh, front legs. If you do not find that that's the case, then you should never put a tremendous amount of traction on the calf to bring the calf into the birth canal without controlling the head. You yourself can actually create a head back, a very difficult type of dystocia to correct if you continue to put a tremendous amount of traction on the legs of the calf, attempting to pull the calf into the birth canal. For cattle, this calf cannot be delivered in this type of uh, position. It cannot um, come through the birth canal with its head back. That's very specific and unique for bovine and most of our large animals. They have to have a very specific uh, presentation, position, and posture to deliver this calf. So what we're gonna do is go through some very simple procedures to try to correct this mild position with the head being held back. So the first thing that must take place is after you complete your physical examination is you must make sure that you relieve pressure of the calf being pushed into the birth canal. And that will give you a chance to actually assist in correcting the head back. So the first thing you would want to do is once you enter the birth canal is repel the calf back into the uterus of the cow. So you would push back on the calf, just enough to give you a little bit more room so you can investigate how things are, where the position of the calf's head is, and whether or not you're able to correct this position so that you can deliver the calf per vagina. So once the calf is repelled back, Again, you probably will be working against the cow, so you kind of have to work with the cow's uterine contractions and abdominal contractions. But once you feel you have enough room to make an assessment as to what the problem is, you can find that this calf has a simple head back. And I use the word simple lightly because this may be one of the most difficult dystocias to correct. In order to correct this dystocia, you have to find a method by which to bring the calf's head back into alignment between the front legs so that it's presented in a normal presentation position and posture. So to do that, what we will do is actually take our most favorite arm, your working arm that works the best for you, and you will find that you need to identify something to hold on to and in this case with the head back, most everything related to the neck of the calf is very, very slippery because of the normal lubrication of the birth canal and the lubrication that you provide to deliver this calf normally can cause a very difficult time for you to actually hang on to anything to correct this head back. So we must proceed forward until we find something that we can hang on to. And typically, what I like to hang on to, or at least identify and grasp, is either the bony orbit of the eye socket, 
are the commissure of the mouth. You can see I'm going to have to be pretty far in this cow in order to identify that. Initially, I may not be able to identify that, and it may be very difficult to correct this head back without identifying one or two of those positions, I mean um, places. So what you can do is if the calf, if you repel the calf too far, what you can do is actually have some assistance, maybe pull the calf just gently a little bit closer to you by putting tractions on the limb, traction on the limb and bringing the calf closer to you. And then what you can do is work again as it's closer to you to identify the commissure of the calf's mouth. And once you identify the commissure of the calf's mouth, like I have right here, then what you can do is actually a little bit difficult, but you're going to have to push the calf back a little bit and then change places with the calf's shoulder and with the calf's neck and head and bringing it into its normal position. And then once it's in its normal position, then you can actually start to advance the calf back into its normal presentation, position, and posture for a complete delivery of the calf.